In recent videos, you have seen the assembly of my laser etcher, operation of the laser etcher running test patterns, and execution of the final etch on the guitar strap. In those videos, you have seen glimpses of my workspace, but I haven't shown you the whole space yet. This is why you haven't seen much of that space. I didn't want you to see this big old mess behind me. And the main reason I haven't finished the guitar strap yet is this is my paint and dye station. In front of these boxes, out of view of the camera, is a lawnmower, a leaf blower, and some other yard implements. They should go back here in this corner where I am currently storing two broken electric fireplaces and a broken air conditioner. I have got to figure out how to get rid of those. So today, we are going to be cleaning up this workshop. Before we get into that, I'd like to say welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. I'm Kate Bonnie. Thank you so much for stopping by. While I was cleaning up the shop, I was also running the laser etcher. Doc Dillinger needs engravings on some knife handles, so I was doing some test engravings on the knife handle material. Yay, multitasking! Time management is also a major issue when you're trying to run your own home-based business. Since you're working out of your home, you're trying to run the dishwasher, do laundry, clean the house, and do your job all at the same time. So whenever you have an opportunity to multitask, you must absolutely take it. So once the etcher was doing its thing, I started cleaning the shop. I'll go ahead and let you know right now that Possum the Barn Cat will make an appearance here and there throughout the video. His sister and he are the last two surviving members of a feral cat colony that set up in the area after a tornado took out my neighbors in 2011. He is mostly feral and I am the only person that he will approach. So he likes to come into the shop now and then just to see what I'm up to. I cut out a lot of footage. The entire process of cleaning up this shop took about three hours. But I figured nobody, even in time lapse, wants to sit around watching a 15 minute video of some old woman cleaning up a workshop. So I just left a few key points in. Here I am assembling a rolling for shelf unit that a lot of these boxes and bins are going to sit on. I am not going through all of the boxes, bins, and crates today. My goal is simply to clear space so I can access my painting and dyeing station. The white shelves to the left were reclaimed from a Dollar General that was going to throw them away during a remodel. I grabbed them and thought, hey, I can mount them in my shop. The standards I have do not fit the Dollar General shelves. Those shelves will most likely be cut up by Doc Dillinger, melted down, and he will use the reclaimed steel to make knives in his forge. And rather than sitting here having you watch me just zip around tidying up, I'm going to cut towards the end. I still have a lot of work to do to get this workshop fully organized and maximize my workspace. But for now, I can access my leather dyeing and painting station. I was able to find my leather paints, my leather conditioners, finishes, and various other supplies and store them. I was able to push one of the fireplaces all the way back into the corner and move the broken air conditioner onto it. I used the one closer in as a shelf to put my box of reclaimed packing materials on. This is a money-saving tip. All these packages that I've received with Christmas presents in them and supplies for the shop, equipment, things like that, they all came with packing foam or bubble wrap or air pillows. Rather than throwing all of that away and then having to go back later and buy packing materials myself, I just collected and recycled a whole big box of it. It will save me money and it cuts down on waste. That's pretty much all I have for today, so we can safely say we have reached the end of the video. 
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like it, ring that subscribe bell, comment down below. Your comments are very important to me. Please tell me what I did right, what I did wrong, and how I can improve my channel in the future. And please share this video and my channel with your friends and family. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'll see you again next time.